Hi, in this video training of HTML, we will be looking at HTML SSE API. SSE stands for Server Sent Events. Server Sent Events allow a web page to get updates from a server. Server Sent Events are one-way messaging. A Server Sent Event is when a web page automatically gets updates from the server. This was also possible before, but the web page would have to ask if any updates were available. With server sent events, the updates come automatically. Examples are Facebook, Twitter updates, stock price updates, news feeds, sports results, etc. Okay, let's look at receiving server sent event notifications. The event source object is used to receive server sent event notifications. So let's say we have an HTML page and we write a script that listens to a PHP file demo underscore SSE dot PHP. And we are going to listen to this file source with source dot on message function and we are going to output the result in the result div in HTML. So let's build the HTML part first. So I'm going to create a file. Uh, let's say HTML SSE dot HTML and okay, I'm going to create a let's say H1 tag and I'm going to give it an ID result and I'm closing the h1 tag I'm going to write the script that is a JavaScript and within that script we are going to create a source and source is basically new event source object new event source and the file is demo sse.php second step is to listen to that source and process the data that is being returned from the source so what we are going to do is get element by ID and result that is the ID of the h1 tag that we uh, declared above inner HTML and we say plus equals and we can write event dot data and we can say we can concat the break tag so we have the data on each line with the new source going to close the function save the file so this is the HTML part and the JavaScript part that we have done so far that is for receiving server sent notifications okay basically we created the event source object and specified the URL of the page sending the updates in this example it's demo underscore SSE dot PHP each time an update is received, the on message event occurs. When an on message event occurs, we put the received data into the element with id equals result. Okay, so we can also check for the server sent event support. In the trite example above, there were some extra lines of code to check browser support for server sent events. So we can First of all, we can check that our browser supports event source object or not. So we can say if type of event source is not equal to undefined. So we can do our stuff here. Else in the else part, what we can do is we can alert the user, sorry, your browser doesn't supports event source object or SSE. 
so this is the basic check that we can do within our code okay now let's get to the server side code for the JS code to work you need to have a server capable of sending data updates like PHP or ASP the server side event stream syntax is simple so we are going to set the content type header to text forward slash event stream now you can start sending event streams okay, let's look at the PHP code it's quite a simple and straightforward code which is setting the content header and the content type and what we are going to do is we are going to send the server time to the browser okay let's create this file and lime demo score sse dot php okay php we are going to set the header first header and content type equals text slash event stream and the second thing we are going to set is content sorry cache control and we are going to set it to no cache okay and now I'm going to get the current date or okay we are going to echo data the server time is and I'm going to concat that with an, this is the PHP variable that we declared above so we are, we are concatting that into our string and we are going to add line breaks here with backslash double n backslash double n so two line spaces and we are going to flush the data and you can close this if you want but this isn't necessary so this is our server side code so what we did in this server side code is we set the content type header to text event stream specified that the page should not be cached so we outputted the data to send always start with the data and flush the output data back to the web page so what we are going to do is we are going to run HTML SSE dot HTML file in the browser okay let's run the browser and okay let's say local host rnd slash and we have HTML SSE API folder you can see we have the HTML SSE file here and you can see the data is coming from the server this is the script that we wrote on the server side and the, on the client side so if you look at the network request here you can see the front end is continuously looking and fetching data from the server and you can see the type is event source so this is something interesting if you click on it it is basically a get request and no cache and content type you can see it is text event stream transfer encoding is chunked and you can see the refresh set fetch destination empty same origin so this is quite useful when you want to display dynamic data from the server and continuously listen to your server code okay the event source object in the examples above we used the on message event to get messages but other events are also available so an event on open when a connection op to the server is open and on message when a message is received and on error when an error occurs so this is all about the html sse api i hope you have understood 
the concept of this API and learn something. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time with a new topic.